The list of alleged victims is growing in the case of a Portland man charged with bias crimes. Today, police interviewed an exchange student who says that he was attacked late last month. Fox 12's Anna Karayama joins us now with more on the story. 21-year-old Kaito Nakajima says he was attacked in downtown Portland near this Safeway store at the intersection of Southwest 10th and Jefferson. My family don't know that happened because if I say that maybe my family about, about worry about it every day, every night. Yeah, so I couldn't say that. Kaito Nakajima hasn't told his family in Japan about what happened to him because he doesn't want them to worry. The 21-year-old is in Portland as an exchange student studying English. Everything so happened suddenly. Kaito says about noontime on June the 25th, a man attacked him near Southwest 10th and Jefferson, yelling profanities, hitting him multiple times, and stealing his hat. In shock and not sure what to do, he initially didn't report the crime, but his host family was concerned. When he told us about it a few days later, and we started saying, this is assault, this is theft, this is serious, this is really serious. Um, you need to report this, and he was really reluctant. But after seeing news reports about Dylan Kesterson, a man accused of attacking a five-year-old Japanese girl and her dad on the East Bank Esplanade, Kaito says he recognized Kesterson as the man who had attacked him in late June. Kaito called Portland police, and a biased crime detective is on the case. Reimer says the incident has changed Kaito's outlook. He made some comments that um, there was discrimination and, and that kind of he was surprised. You know, I, I think he came to Portland and America thinking that um, he would be safe and everything was fine. Kaito has five more months of study left in Oregon before he goes home, and he does worry about his safety. He regularly uses public transportation and usually travels alone, but is now reconsidering how he'll live in Portland moving forward. Maybe with my friend and someone is better than by myself. If you have been the victim of a bias crime assault or if you're witnessing one, police do want to hear from you. You're asked to call 911. In downtown Portland, Anna Kariyama, Fox 12 Oregon.